there and welcome to another sewing vlog um, so this is a little update on what I've been up to for September and probably part of October since we're already halfway through the month um, I've been working on my pants class I've kind of only really scratched the surface on that one um, and then I've also been working on my pinup girls classic bra I made another um, mock-up and this time I didn't sew all the elastic on I just like I didn't have any illusions that like this was going to just work out perfectly um, and so I kind of just put together the parts I need to try it on and to kind of like troubleshoot what I need to do next um, see the other thing that I noticed about the whole bra thing is that um, since I went a while without working on it, I like labeled my pattern pieces, but I didn't write down anywhere what size this was that I had cut out or what size the other one was. So it took me a little bit to, um, to figure that out. So now I'm thinking that I need to like, um, I need to like have like a piece of paper that's, um, has sort of a change log so I record what size I'm making and what changes I'm making to it so that I can keep track of that because like I'll forget I thought I was labeling my patterns like really well but um I guess like when you have a pile of pattern pieces like how do you know which piece you cut from this especially when you've done multiple mock-ups so I guess that's another thing that I'm kind of learning that I need to learn to be more organized and to kind of document what I'm doing so that um, I can keep track of where I'm at and like how, I don't know, just like what works, what doesn't work. So yeah, so that's the bra thing. I'm kind of excited because I feel like even though this next mock-up clearly has some problems um I can kind of like see the steps I can see how I can get to where I need to go and um I was getting kind of like distracted again about trying different patterns and I had to remind myself like why I'm sticking with this pattern which is because it's kind of the closest of getting any bra to actually fit and so I think it would be good to have one example of a bra that fits and then like modify the style from there um, I guess there I have a lot of questions about bra making in general like so um, that's something that I'm working on um, the other thing I did is I took a thrift store skirt and I took the block, the custom block I drafted from the skirt skill class and I used that to alter the skirt to fit me. And it turned out really well and it like totally fits. Um, I kind of used the block um, to draft a dartless a-line skirt with it the, the way that that we were taught to do that and then I compared it to the pieces of the thrift store skirt after I took it apart and then I um, altered the parts to make it match that and it was pretty exciting to see how like it fits so much better now um, and I learned like so much from the skirt skill class about fitting skirts. So like um, when I compared the block to the skirt pieces, I noticed that um, that the front panel of the skirt was about the right size, and it was really only the back panel that I needed to alter. And so all of the places that I took in fabric were all I just concentrated all on the back, and it worked out really well. So the other thing that I've been doing is I've been working on clearing out another space that I can set up for my sewing area because um, I've become increasingly unhappy with the dining room setup since 
it's sort of like a it's a room that connects to the kitchen and the living room so it's sort of a traffic area and um i mean i can make i've been making it work but it would be better if i had some area that people didn't have to constantly walk through <laughs> so we're constantly like sh like my table has wheels so i'm constantly like rolling it out of the way and um having to sort of like shift things around um so there's quite a lot that needs to happen before I can have the other setup. Um, but I've been working on that and that's exciting just to think that eventually I'll have another space to use. So that's about the gist of what I've been working on. Um, I think that I'm going to try to concentrate more time on getting this bra done or bra fitted because I'm really tired of not having a real bra. And then I'm and then um the pants class I was working on technically ended already, but you can work through it at your own pace. So I think I'm going to try to like schedule certain days where I work on the pants class and then get through that. So that's it for my monthly roundup of what I've been working on and I'll see you next time. Bye.